Welcome inside another weekend preview for Ferris State Hockey. Behind me, the Bulldogs are on the ice getting set to take on the Northern Michigan Wildcats, a WCHA rival. The Bulldogs saw the Wildcats six times and sported a 4-2 and two record, including a two-game sweep in the first round of the WCHA playoffs against the Wildcats last year. The Bulldogs went 3-1 and one at Awoglaben Ice Arena throughout the season against the Wildcats. So we'll catch up with head coach of Ferris State Hockey, Bob Daniels, about the impending matchup that has WCHA implications all over it. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, we, we have seen uh, uh, Northern Michigan quite a bit over the last uh, few years, in particular last year where we faced off with them six times. And um, Walt Kyle's done an outstanding job with that program and, and their team. And over the years, you know, you get a feeling for how he'll try to prepare his team, and he's probably got a pretty good idea how we'll play. Um, I would expect the game, for one thing, they, they've got a, a really nice team. And they are missing a couple of their, their better offensive players um, in Dominic Shine, Shane Sooth, um, one of which may be in the lineup this weekend. No different than us missing Gerald Mayhew and Drew Durante. So, um, you know, it's, it's two teams that I think uh, between now and the end of the year are going to have really good seasons. Um, it's just a matter of how quick we can get some some of our personnel back as well as them. Um, but I would expect these to be, if they're like every other time we play them, one goal game, overtime game, two very close games, um, and it should be really exciting hockey. Well, yeah, last, last weekend I thought we really played a, a, our best game of the year. I, I did, and I felt so much better about our team than, than I had uh, the previous week. Um, and with that, I did make a comment where I thought we played great for 199 feet, 10 inches of the rink. We had the last two inches is, is the hardest two. Um, we haven't done anything specific. I mean, the last couple inches is our ability to score goals. And, and, and sometimes we just got to have more looks. We've got a guy like Corey Mackin who leads our team in shots on goal. 25, I believe, in five games. So he's averaging five a game. He's getting great chances. Those pucks are going to start going in for him. What we've worked on this week is is really more the same as, as going into last week. We tried to – we didn't want to just pinball around and all of a sudden start working on other things. We're trying to drive home, you know, good, solid defensive hockey, keeping our feet moving in the offensive zone. Um, we've worked really hard on our penalty kill this week, and I think that's going to be a constant theme of our team. We have so many young freshman defensemen and, and, and defensemen that just have never penalty killed. We lost Kyle Shump last year. He was a big penalty killer for us. So we're breaking in a lot of new guys, and that's going to take time. Um, Coach Kaufman's done an outstanding job in the past 10 years or so with our, uh, our penalty kill, um, and he, th we're going to have a great one by the end of the year. It's just going to take some time, but that's really taken a lot of our attention this week. Well, you know, as you look at our, our group of freshman defensemen, it's, it's interesting. One, we could talk about Chris Allen. He's, I think he's played very well. We played uh, one weekend at Ford, last weekend on defense. This weekend, he may play either Ford or defense. But um, it's nice that we have the luxury. I like him at Ford from one standpoint in that um, it's like having seven defensemen dressed then. So if a guy gets hurt, if we end up with somebody in the box, um, we can always move him back to defense, and it's great luxury to have that flexibility on the bench. I, uh, but I think he's really come a long way. I think uh, Cameron Clark's developing. Joe Rutkowski is coming. Um, you know, Nate Kalen has played very well. They're seeing not only um, a lot of minutes, but they're seeing valuable minutes. They're seeing important minutes. They're seeing, you know, we've been in a ton of one-goal games this year, and we've been gone at every third period either tied up a goal or down a goal, but it's always been close, and those guys are on the ice all the time. So I'm seeing a rapid progression. I'm seeing them develop, um, but it's not a, a linear uh, development. It's a jagged development. You're going to see this and then a little bit of this. Um, and then even within the game itself, I think they're playing very well, but every once in a while they'll do something to remind you that they're a freshman. And, uh, but I've been very happy with their work habits, their work ethic, and, and uh, their progress. Fair State in search of their first victory of the 2016-17 season. We'll have all the action right here from Abel Glaben Ice Arena. Tickets are still on sale at the Fair State ticket office. You can also check out the BOGO buy one, get one free offer for this weekend's games at FerrisStateBulldogs.com. We'll see you out here at the rink on Friday night.